Angela Kelly's checking out some unique artwork this morning. And you can too. Angela joins us live from downtown Green Bay with more. Good morning, Angela. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's not too unusual to see things like turtles or frogs or butterflies along the banks of a river. But I'll tell you what, this is a little bit more unique. This is uh, one of the pieces of artwork that will be on display um, for the Butterflies and Friends on Parade as part of the Einstein Project here in Green Bay. You're going to see all of these art pieces along the Fox River right here in Green Bay all throughout the summer. And here to tell us more about it is Julie Pavla. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, Julie. You're with the Einstein Project. Tell us what this is all about and, and how it's going to benefit your organization. Well, this is a fundraiser ultimately for the Einstein Project, which provides hands-on science programming for kids K through 8 in the schools. And what we do is we do these art pieces every year. We sell them at the auction at the, in the fall, October 6th this year. And the money goes to help fund the programs that we put on in schools. Yeah, and really helping kids uh, get a better grip on science and uh, giving them hands-on ways to learn about it. Absolutely. And this year we're doing 30 art pieces, and you'll see a couple of them this morning, and we're just thrilled with the quality this year. And the piece you're looking at now, this is called Pondemonium, uh, created by Mark Farnsworth. Good morning to you. Good morning. Tell us uh, about this beautiful piece of art you've created here. Um, actually, I'm, my uh, medium is stain, stained glass, and so I usually do it on windows, and when I saw this uh, opportunity, I thought, why not put it on a turtle, see if it'll work. You're actually a speech and language therapist uh, at a local elementary school, so the art is kind of a hidden passion for you. Yeah, it always has been. Um, I thought that it would be a nice uh, career move to do that, um, but I also like working with kids. So the kids won out, so I just do this on the side. And this is what I love about your story, because not only do you have this hidden passion for art, which fits perfect into this event, but you've seen firsthand how the Einstein Project uh, has helped students in our area, being yeah. a teacher. Yes. Um, most of my elementary student kid, uh, students work um, in science, of course, that's part of the curriculum, but the Einstein Project provides them a hands-on, and that helps with my students who are language delayed with vocabulary, um, social language. So I've seen them be excited about speech therapy because I can incorporate the uh, science programs from the Einstein program. Well, you've done a beautiful job, and uh, all this morning we're going to be taking a look at the different pieces of art. If you want to know where exactly you can find these, uh, take a walk along the Fox River Trail or log on to fox11online.com and click on the Fox 11 News Links section. So pretty cool, isn't it? I love I that, you see, Rachel, he did you a love fabulous it in your garden. Job. It's gorgeous.